This is Mary Kingsley, a very brave but unusual woman for her time. She braved rapids, climbed Mount Cameroon and travelled with cannibals. I'm here to tell you her story. Mary was born in Islington on the 13th of October 1862. Mary's parents were two completely different people. Her father was a very well-known private physician, often away on trips to attend wealthy families. Her mother was quiet and could not fit into her husband's busy life. With all the stress, Mary's mother stayed in bed most of her life. Back in Mary's day, girls were expected to do things like embroidery and play the piano. But Mary was clever and was self-taught. She often spent hours in her father's huge extensive library. Unfortunately, in those days, girls weren't expected to have a good education. She noted later that the only money spent on her education was a few German lessons. In comparison, her father paid over £2,000 for her brother's education. When Mary's parents died, Mary, Mary was a free woman, or so she thought. Unfortunately, Mary had to move to her brother's house. Her brother was selfish and did not have her father's charm. To Mary's relief, he decided to travel through China, leaving Mary finally free. On her first journey, Mary explored the coast from San Paul de Londa to Mount Cameroon. On her second journey, Mary did a little exploration in Lamborghini, but then turned her attention towards the Uguay River. One of the strange things that Mary did was travel with the Fang people. They were cannibals and it was believed that if a white man went into a tribe he wouldn't be seen again. Remarkably, Mary marched right in, but Fang had never seen anything like it. Once Mary woke up to find a man being boiled in a pot, she rescued him and all ended well. The Fang taught Mary survival skills she needed for exploring. Mary was very grateful. Mary was clever and saw that for the Africans to keep their identity, they must keep their religion. Therefore, the missionaries must stop their work in Africa. When Mary got home, she started out writing a book about her travels called Travels in West Africa. This book became a well-known bestseller. In my opinion, Mary Kingsley was a great role model to women. Mary was not particularly famous for her discoveries, but for her bravery. I think she was smart to get out there and take a risk, especially in Africa, the white man's grave. I hope you have learned a bit about Mary Kingsley today. Thank you for listening. I'm not a